How to Stretch a Canvas. If you're a starving artist, save a few bucks, hone your carpentry skills, and stretch your own canvas. You will need one by two inch lengths of wood long enough to form the perimeter of your canvas, quarter round lengths of trim of equal length to the perimeter of your canvas, one half to five eighth inch carpentry staples, a staple gun, wood glue, finish nails, a hammer, a miter saw or box saw, raw canvas, medium grit sandpaper, a carpenter's square, a damp rag, scissors or a craft knife, and a large, wide, and flat work surface like a clean floor. Step one, decide what size canvas you'd like to build. Write down the width and height of the canvas. Step two, using the miter saw, cut your one by two inch wood to size by trimming your lengths of wood at 45 degree angles. Step three, Repeat the same process for the quarter round trim. Step four, sand down the cut surfaces of your pieces gently and briefly to remove stray bits and particles and provide a good, even surface. Step five, put a dab of glue on the cut faces of two of your one by two inch pieces and join them together to form a right angle. Use the carpenter square to make sure your joints are square. Step six, Use the damp rag to mop up any excess glue that pushed out of the seam at the corner. Step seven, repeat the process for the other corners. Step eight, drive three or four staples perpendicular to and straddling the seams to fasten the joints of your canvas together. The product is your stretcher bar. If your stretcher bars are large, cut angled braces to attach to each corner for support. Step nine, Carefully place the quarter round strips onto the glue so that the slope of the round trim is facing the inside of the canvas and the quarter inch rounds and one by two inch wood are flush on the outside. Step 10. Carefully tap the finish nails through the quarter round strips and onto the one by two inch parts of the stretcher bars. The quarter round trim will elevate the canvas off of the stretcher bars so that the stretcher bars do not affect the painting. Step 11. Use a nail set or another nail to push the finished nails below the surface of the wood to prevent it from tearing the canvas. Step 12. Set the stretcher bars aside to dry for a couple of hours. Step 13. Set your canvas out flat and face down. Step 14. Set your stretcher bars on top with the quarter round strips in contact with the canvas. Step 15. Beginning with the right side of the stretcher bars, Pull the canvas up in the middle onto the back of the stretcher bars and staple it down with a staple running parallel to the stretcher bar it's fastened to. Pull firmly. Step 16. Repeat this on each corner and side. Do not pull so tight that the stretcher bars bend out of square. At this point, you'll have funny corners sticking up into the air. Step 17. Pick an area a few inches above your staple and repeat steps 14 through 16 over again, moving toward the corners. Step 18. Go to the bottom right corner, pinch the canvas in your hands, and pull the material to one side or the other. Generally, you pull toward the long side of the stretcher bars. Step 19. Fold the material back and around the stretcher bars as you would when folding and tucking in a sheet on a bed. Step 20. Fasten the material to the back of the canvas with a couple of staples. Step 21. Repeat steps 18 through 20 for the opposite corner, then the adjacent corners. Step 22. The back probably looks a little sloppy, so use scissors or a craft knife to cut away excess canvas. Did you know? The famed Austrian painter Friedenreich Hudenwasser almost always stretched his own canvas. <laughs>